I'm going to share with you an example of a lumbar disc replacement. And we're going to do this by talking about uh, the x-rays for the patient. So what we see here is a side view of the low back or the lumbar spine. Uh, and we see that the spine has a series of bones and discs that are stacked one on top of another. And this particular patient's problem relates to their bottom disc, which is L5S1. That's the lowest disc down below your belly button at the bottom of your spine. And we can see there's a big difference between the normal discs here and the bottom disc. And in this scenario, that disc has been cracking and tearing and degenerating for a long time. And this is causing a person to have back pain, but it's also narrowing the space where the nerve branches out of the spine. We can see this circle here. It's narrowing that space, causing the patient to have pinched nerve symptoms or sciatica nerve pain running down the leg. And so our goal is to go in and do something to fix both the back pain coming from the disc issue, but also the nerve problem coming from the pinched nerve. And so the, this is the uh, x-ray taken after surgery and we can see this is done through an incision below the belly button, a small incision like where a C-section incision would be made. And surgery goes in to remove that disc and you can see we actually go in to restore or realign the height of that disc to match what the patient was meant to have. Uh, and so when we do that, that also opens up the space for the nerve here. And this is a single level lumbar disc replacement. And we can see this is the Oreo, uh, metal on top, plastic in the middle, and that allows movement as the patient bends and twists and lives their life. So this is a great example of a one level lumbar disc replacement that allows us to fix back pain and a pinched nerve while preserving the motion. And preserving the motion at that disc is important for two reasons. One, it keeps us more flexible and moving better now, which is important, but also keeping movement at this disc will help to protect or prevent degeneration and problems at the other disc down the road.